Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today we'll be discussing um, integer, the data type integer. We'll briefly see how we can use integer and we'll try to explain the methods or you call it the functions in integer. We'll look at integer today so that we can get, uh, understand the basis of using integer in our programming. First and foremost, we have to know that integer is a, is a, is a number that does not have the decimal point. It doesn't have the decimal point. So the number that has a decimal point is a floating point number. But for an integer, there is no decimal point. So quickly, let's get started. Let me show you some basic things about integer. So we we'll start by saying, by just forget about the end of time. Uh, it's just another thing I'm trying to just come in. Uh, integer. So let's run our help on integer. Remember, help is a keyword in Python, which tells you, which helps you on a, on anything that you don't know about. So let's get help on integer, and uh, then we we'll find out that it's giving us the details what integer is all about. If you list the func the functions in integer and um, explain them for us, here yeah, we we'll see that the in converts a number of spring to an integer or returns it. So if even when we have a floating point number, we can use integer to convert the floating point to an integer and returns it to an integer. It returns it to an integer. Um, or your all please, I will advise you in your Python shell or any interpreter you are using, could it be using an encoder? Just type the word help and you type help and the keyword integer or if you're using Jupyter notebook you just type integer and the question mark that is one of the Jupyter magics something as this integer the question mark it gives you just what you have on the screen so let's see something else about integer let's look at the directory we want to look at the directory a directory is actually used is a keyword in python which tells us about the in built in function with respect to that data type. The built in functions or method in respect to that data type. So if I use directory integer, it gives me the directory. Okay, I don't know if you can see this properly, but let me do something for you. For you to see it properly, let me print it line for each line. For remember, I'm doing list comprehension for i in this. I just print i for me. So I print i for i in coming for i in sorry for i in I miss the in keyword for i in just print this print parentheses sorry. Sorry, in Python 2 it actually works, but in Python 3 it doesn't work. You have to use the parentheses. Let me make a good programming practice. Good. So I have the keywords, the function, sorry, the function with respect to integer on the screen. As you can see, I have it on the screen. I have the absolute value. Those methods or functions you see with a double underscore to the right and a double underscore to the left it, they are actually what we call magic functions in python uh, magic functions so i will give you some examples now the abs gives us the absolute value of an integer the absolute value of an integer so we can say something as this if I say something as this,
So we can have something as this int dot double underscore abs double underscore the absolute value of minus 100. You know, absolute value, it takes away the negative sign and give us the value. So that is for absolute value. Now let me use for the add. Add is what it, it works like so. It takes a number, add it to itself. Uh, add good this uh, pick a number let me say five and ten it adds ten to five and it gives me what fifteen good so the other functions are still i have till till returns itself go let me use do something int int sorry good i have class uh, this actually will tell me the type. Maybe I have the number, you don't know if the number is an integer or you don't know what that number or variable is. You want to get the type, you just simply get the type. So let me say, for instance, I have 1.4, I give it to tell me the type it plots. And if I have a dictionary here, it will tell me actually. That the type is a dictionary. I have this, let's say A, see much, and I have three, four here. Yeah, it tells me that it's a dictionary. Uh, good. This reminds me, let me tell you, the key of a dictionary must not always be a string. The same applies to the value. You can have a dictionary where in the key is an integer. Or it floats as well as the value, just the other way around. And we've seen in the previous video that the value of an of a dictionary can actually be a tuple. Can be a tuple like this. So lastly, on this video, I'll just show you you something like I have a variable a equals to fifty six point seven point two. And I do int a. What does it give me? Take give me that part and do away with the other part. So thank you for watching to this video. We'll continue in the next video. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. And once